Welcome to the Michigan Travel Show, a kaleidoscope of stories about the people, places, and events that shape our great state. Well, hello everyone. Well, Gary, here on another Western road trip. So I am uh, here in eastern central Wyoming at Fort Laramie National Historical Site. Uh, this was a big crossroads of the Oregon Trail and uh, and this was to protect the settlers as they came across the plains and headed across Wyoming to Oregon. And uh, this was a major outpost in its day. Okay, well, here's uh, one of the, the uh, placards here telling about uh, this historic fort. And uh, this was definitely a major crossroads of people going westward expansion. And from 1849 until 1890... And it definitely was a place to start in 1834 as a trading post. And uh, we can see some of the buildings around here. And, of course, some have obviously been restored. Uh, there's a picnic area there. Of course, that's all out to the east where they would have come from. There's one of the old buildings. And the spot over there, that was a historic hotel that was built in... 1875 that was a uh, house settlers in 1876 the nation centennial and there's one of the barracks for some of the soldiers we're going to go over see one of the uh, big uh, monuments in here and check out a couple of the buildings well the pony express ran through here all the way from st joseph uh, missouri all the way to Sacramento, California. Kind of cool. That's what this uh, little monument is here from 1860 to 1861. Was a major post on the Pony Express. This is what the barracks looked like back in 1875. Probably, this is nicer than probably what it looked like back then. Kind of interesting is they've recreated it here, this whole building was set up for the cavalry back. Okay, this is a replica of an ox cart. I always wondered exactly one was like. This was what they would hood, hook up to an oxen and have them pull it. Army support vehicles. Okay, this structure in front of us is called the Old Bedlam. It was built as the oldest structure in Wyoming, built in 1849. Well, in 1866, this was a major stopover to uh, help a 236-mile ride by, by, uh, by one of the troops to uh, get relief at Fort Phil McKerney after his uh, Fetterman massacre. So, uh, 1866, some stuff happened here. Well, at least this fort's out here in the middle of no man's land. Kind of impressive. It's they preserved enough it to show it was here. This is pretty cool. This is the original flagpole that is put together halfway up with the two log pole pines and there's the flag at the top. Right in the middle, they're connected. This is the original flagpole. That is pretty cool. You're only gonna see that out here at one of these old forts. And once again, I'm out here in the dead center of the entire complex. This is what it all was. This is obviously the staging grounds for troops. Barracks all around. Some been restored, some haven't. And all the way around here. Get a great view here at the staging area. 